Welcome to BMBBH News with KF. News without the WS. Racist rant at a high school basketball game in Orange County now has students and parents demanding action. The verbal assault caught on video now even has a city council getting involved. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Souter live for us now in Irvine with the video and what people are saying about it tonight. Leanne. Mark, the student and his parents say they want to see change. An entire community outraged by what was caught on camera. We have to warn you, you may find the language offensive. <laughs> racist rant caught on camera at a Laguna Hills high school basketball game. The student targeting opponent Makai Brown as he's shooting free throws. I'm angry. I'm hurt. I've had emotions that have covered the spectrum. It happened last Friday as Portola High took on Laguna Hills. The teen discovering the video the next day as he was looking for game footage. Tonight, the Irvine City Council addressing the viral and vile hate. This isn't the end. Uh, this is just the beginning of the work that's ahead of us. And for uh, Laguna Hills High School, uh, the city of Laguna Hills, Saddleback Unified, Fix yourselves. I do believe that it is the culture at Laguna Hills High School because one, these incidents have happened before. Two, the administration at Laguna Hills High School has tried to suppress the video. It's deeper than just what that child was saying. Like their their culture just seems to be broken to where it's just not an environment that feels safe, at least safe for us. Saddleback Valley Unified School District says the student in the video has been identified and disciplined. The superintendent saying in a statement, quote, although apologies are necessary, they do not suffice. The words used by the student will never be acceptable. This is a learning opportunity for our school communities that there is ongoing work to be done in building continued mutual respect and understanding. The Browns say the most difficult part is the impact it's had on their son. He just has this pessimistic view of it is what it is. I'll just move on to the next one. You know what I mean? And our job as parents is to teach him that, you know, you're never going to allow someone just to bully you. Um, you can stand up and you can impact change. His mother making an emotional public plea before the city council. Please do your part and show him that he's wrong and that change in this community and in the world is still possible. The Browns say that they hope that Saddleback Unified School District will enact some kind of reform that hopefully will bring about the change they are wanting to see. Okay, my brothers and sisters, it seems as if instead of being angry about situations such as these, we as blacks put ourselves in a position to grovel for respect begging for them to like us but i'll get back to that in a little bit also okay uh this is what we're doing right now people are getting verbally assaulted the word assault just should be reserved for something physical you know and this is why people are so soft these days teaching this doctrine of words hurt and using bugs term buzz terms to, to get the emotion going these days but, you know, I do understand, however, that words can carry impact depending on the situation. One of my bigger questions is, how is a high school teenager in 2022 still can look at a black person in such a visceral, demeaning way? The answer is it's ingrained in them, taught by the senior members in their racist ass families. But why be shocked when this surfaces? Seriously. Another question is, why was this kid so comfortable screaming all this dumb shit out? It could be anything from this happens on a regular basis at their school events. Or from what I've observed from the demographic of students on display, I don't believe they've seen too many young black men pass through. And the younger they are, uh, it seems like the more tolerant they are to racism, it seems. 
why do you think there is an effort to remove critical race theory from the textbooks so the future generations of black kids won't have any ideas about why their white peers keep saying all those horrible things about black people now look we as black parents mustn't fall short when teaching our children their value and yes ignorant people will treat them differently because of the color of their skin now as far as the parents in the report i get a sense that the family thought sending their child to a school with a mixed possibly predominantly white demographic would mean better for their son's education instead of sending him to an all-black school which can receive little financial support and a less disciplined body of students. Now, that's the mentality. Don't shoot the messenger, but let's just keep it real. That happens in a lot of cases with predominantly black areas, and the awareness needs to go up. You know, it's for our children. Every setting has its own issues. And from what I've observed, it doesn't seem that the parents really prepared their son for the prejudices that still exist in 2022, like racism and penis envy. First off, why is the mom being showy like that? Just crying, talking about, you know, I, 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 I am hurt. My feelings, I thought racism was over. Trump is gone. And then go cry in front of all the white folks in front of the city council meeting. Please make my son believe in the world again. She need to stop. This is what I'm talking about. This, 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 you know, begging them to like us when we know at the end of the day they won't and will never change their minds about this. They're still teaching this ki their kids this crap. And the father, the prototypical educated black man, tried his damnedest to be politically correct because, you know, probably for a reason like he's scared of his job. But he misused the word pessimistic and probably should have used the word apathetic because he gave me the impression that he has to first teach his son how bad saying things like that is to a black person which means he kind of dropped the ball on that but really there's no telling with kids these days the son probably hears a lot worse uh in a call of duty chat room on xbox live but don't worry kiddo you'll be getting sweet revenge on those racist chats with their girlfriends and sisters soon enough and that is why they are mad Till next time.